everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos in this video i will make i'll be making myself a mazi gun so what i have here today is the top part of the material which is the top part which will be my shoulder to my under bust this is the front panel i'm going to be cutting it separate this is the back panel with my zipper allowance but i'm going to start with my front panel first because it's going to be off shoulder blouse but the way i'm cutting my off shoulder blouse today is a different pattern so what i have here yeah from here to this place is my shoulder i've already ruled it out so i'm going to be explaining what i did here from this place here to this line is my shoulder measurement which is 8.6 then my neck width was 3.5 then my neck depth was 2 inches so I come down here by 1 inch so I connected it here so from this line straight line here is my ham hole measurement which is 9.5 it's 9 inches plus half an inch for sewing allowance gives me 9.5 which is here so here at this spot here is my midpoint of my ham hole that is half of my ham hole which is 9.5 divided by 2 it gives me 4.8 so which i rule out here so the top here is my for my sewing allowance which is half inch i rule it out as well this will now serve my serve, serve as my off shoulder line which i'm going to start from here then here is my chest line my chest line I connected my chest line, my round chest measurement was 10 inches. That is quarter of my uh, chest, which is was 40 divided by 4, give me 10 inches. So from here to here is 10 inches. And I connected this dot from here to there to this place. So now I went, I started from here to my straight measurement here. From my shoulder to my boss point was 12.5. From my shoulder to my under boss was 16.5 so this one inch that is under here is for my sewing allowance which i'm going to use to attach my flare to the top part of this of the off shoulder so now i'm going to start now i've already ruled out my off shoulder so now i'm going to put in my my that my breast part which is my nipple to nipple is eight inches Divide by two gives me two inches. So this is this straight line here. So I'm going my nipple to nipple. I'm going to take my nipple to measure measurement. My nipple to nipple is uh, eight inches. Divide by two gives me four plus half an inch of the line gives me four point five. So from this place here is my nipple to nipple, which is four point five. From here to is my nipple to nipple four point five. Here to my nipple to me 4.5. Yes, to my nipple to me 4.5. So I now draw a straight line, which is this line you saw here. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is to now bring out the my dart allowance, which I will need for this dress. So at my shoulder place here, I'm going to take one inch here. So I take one inch here. So I'm going to connect the one inch. Then this is my chest line. Remember, this is my chest line. So, this is my boss point line. So, under my chest line here, I will come down by, by one inch here. One inch. So, I will now draw a straight line here to connect this spot. So, I'm going to do it here like so. So now that I've done that, I will now take my tape measure. This one inch I took out from here, I will go here like this. I will add the one inch. I quickly had the hard one inch. This is the one inch here. So now I start. From my boss point here, I'll go under here by one inch. So let me roll it up for you to see. So at my under boss here, I'll take one inch on both sides. 
at my other boss, one inch of both sides. So I'll take my curve ruler. If you don't have a curve ruler, you can use your hand. I'll connect it to meet that space here, like so. I'll turn it like this again. So, so now that I've done that, so the next thing I will do at my uh, off shoulder here. Remember, I took one inch. I will extend it also there by one inch. So I got my one inch back. So the next thing, if you have a curve, like you can make a curve here because. Our body is curvy. So, the next thing I'm going to do here is to start putting in my round measurement. But before I start that, remember this place, I'm going to cut through my chest line. So, yeah, I'm going to add what I'm going to take here. Yeah, I'm going to add one inch more. So, at this point here, I'll now connect my new ham hole. So this will now serve as my new ham hole. So now I'm going to put in my round measurements. So I've already done my chest measurement. So what I have to do now is just my bust point measurement and my under bust measurement. So what I'll do here is this. My bust point, my round of my bust point is... Uh, 10.8 so I'll go here like this I look for 10.8 yeah this is 10.8 so here is 10.8 remember I'm going to cut through this place half an inch so I'll go here like this hard half an inch for this then I'll add extra one and a half for for some my sewing allowance you can add one inch it's up to you but me i like to be on the safer side all right i'll add one inch <laughs> if it's too much i always cut it off so at my under boss here my what of my under boss is 9.8 so i'll go in like this here I have 9.8 9.8 I'll put my finger there then maybe I take one inch of both sides so yeah I'll add extra two inches where I put my finger two inches then I'll add extra one and a half inch for my sewing allowance you can add one inch but it's up to you but I'll, I'll add, uh, let me add one inch for mine. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take my ruler to connect the lines I've done. Next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut out, cut out my fabric. Oh, my scissors is not sharp. So I'm going to cut it out for you to see. Then I'll turn my scissors like this. I'll cut out my off shoulder. This mascara is not wasted. I'm going to use it to tidy up my edges or for my off shoulder. So I haven't done that. So now I'm going to cut out my darts. Out. 
So now this is the uh, off shoulder front panel. So the next two I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the back panel. 